I jumped a battery right to the back to see if I could get it to go pop, 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 pop. Ah, boom! Okay, today I am going to do my best Big Clive impersonation, complete with a Scottish accent, which is terrible. No, actually, we're going to repair phone. So stick around. We're going to fix the phone. But shout out to Big Clive. His uh, channel is pretty awesome. And his accent is cool. Hello and welcome back, everybody. We have a new project here. Somebody wants this to work in our hair salon. It is cool. I've never been able to make these work before over a voice over IP. I am on the Nikon P500. This is a 5302, I think. Take the cover off, get that out of the way. It doesn't work. I hooked it up uptown. It doesn't work. I made up a little adapter so I wouldn't have to screw it to the wall. So basically I went out from the phone to another jack. I, you work with what you've got, right? And then from there, I back fed it into the, into the wall. But it didn't work. And I found out two things. One, it doesn't ring, which I knew it wouldn't. And two, the receiver is not uh, functioning. I got another. This has been in the drawer forever. I've got another receiver here. I'm not sure if it's going to work or not. So I'm going to try and switch this one out. For this one with its mangled wires but uh, yeah I jumped I jumped a battery right to the back to see if I could get it to go pop 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 it didn't pop so something is uh, something is definitely wrong with this one I've reached out to a company that has replacement parts I haven't heard back from them yet it's a weekend so We'll get back to that. Right now, I want to show you how to make these bad boys ring on this garbage voice over IP. And I'm going to tell you it's garbage because I'm the guy that used to design the circuits. Everything's cheap now. Okay, so the way this works. So the way this works is there's a clapper in here. You got two wires coming off of this coil. Okay, there's probably two coils in here if it's uh Oh, there's wires on the bottom too. I didn't notice those before. Okay, that that makes it make more sense. There's wires on the top. This red one comes around to L1. And then this white one comes around to here. Okay, and then there's another one on the bottom. There's two more on the bottom of this coil. I can't quite see them. So I'm not sure where they go. They're going underneath. They come up in here someplace on this terminal block. So what we're going to do is, this is one of the wires right here that come off the bottom of the coil. I know that because I've just done this to prove my theory before I started filming. So what we need to do is we need to move this wire off of there which normally back in the day back in the 60s this yellow wire I believe would go to ground so the current would come in on this red wire for the ringer take this red wire come in here go through the coils one side goes back to here the other side goes back to I don't know where and then the other final piece of the puzzle here goes here, out yellow, down to ground. We're not going to do that. We are going to put that bad mamma jamma on L2, which is the green wire. Forgive my fingers. Just going to stab this in here real quick. Okay, and then we're going to tighten it up. And now. Instead of 
the electricity coming in and dumping out to, to ground, it's coming in on both sides. So you've got your tip in your ring, um, which is the, the red and the green and the old school stuff. So this will now ring on voice over IP. Now that leaves us with the next piece of the puzzle because I can't I can't unhook. There's no plug on this one. There's no uh, there's no way to put a plug on that. You know, typically the newer stuff has a plug on it. Yep, there you go. All right. And this one does not. So my question here, why they had to glue this together on top of screwing it together is beyond me. But this has been in my drawer, my junk drawer for 20, over 20 years. Actually, it's probably closer to 30. Get the bad one out. I really wish I could find a I wish I could find a replacement for just this piece. I don't know what's wrong with it, but probably something in that coil. It's kind of weird because it doesn't really, I don't know if you can see this or not, but there's nothing. Maybe that's the problem. Is there something supposed to be from here to the diaphragm? Because it's just uh that screwdriver right straight through there if I wanted to. I don't know what's on the other side of this. Um, I do see this little plastic ring, but I don't see the overall shape of that. I'm hoping that I can get it to fit in here. We'll see. different sizes here. So I think maybe maybe if I glue that in we're committed now. That's the end of that. We are committed. Or should be. I don't know. We're going to find out. We are going to find out. I don't think she's going to use this anyway. I think she just wants it for the, hey, look at this. We've got an old timey phone in here. Yeah, I want to be able to make sure. I want to be able to put a replacement, a real one back in. So we're going to, we're going to do this. We're doing it this way. And this way is, as usual, the hard way. If we can get this somewhat stuck. I don't know. Did we get it? Let's make sure that this does not become a problem inside the handle. That'll keep it from bouncing when you're slamming it down. I'm sure that you're going to probably demonstrate that. For you younger folks, back in the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s, we were mad at somebody. We'd hang up on them. And I don't mean tap the glass screen, I mean we would hang up on them and we would slam this thing down. Ha boom! Hot glue gun or tape? I'm thinking foam sticky tape. Give me some tape! Does anybody have any tape out there? I want to put some tape over the death button. 
Ugh, it's good stuff. Oh, that is sticky stuff. Come on. Okay. Let's wipe this off. I'm going to put that right dab in the middle. Alright. We are going to corkscrew this back inside so that we don't pinch those wires any more than they already are. Will it fit? Uh-oh. I forgot we had to screw that on. Okay. Now, we're going to go test it. Let's do that. Probably should put it back together again. Cord out of the way. Cover on. we got two screws in the bottom here. here. They usually fall into place fairly easy. One down here. This is this sat in some water for a little bit. All the feet are all rusty. But at least now we know why it was discarded. I think we should take this for a test drive. Or should we wait till we get to the salon? I think we're going to wait till we get to the salon. I have confidence in my work. Sort of. Alright. Let's take a road trip. Let's go try it again. <clears throat> I tried it the first time I didn't film it. But it didn't work. And now we've got it fixed. Good grief. Right, I'm gonna get some trash. Throw that in the back of the truck, and we're going to take a ride. Listen to that thing purr. All right, we got... Make sure I have a key. Yep, yeah, okay, we're good. Let's go. can't hear that turbo, even when the, the windows are open. Maybe when I let off. Nope. Well, if your goal is to get a quieter turbo, the Wicked Wheel is the way to go. Fortunately, it came with a loss of fuel mileage, and I like that noise. I really wish I kept the stock one. All right, well, this is going to be boring. I'm going to drive, pick up where we left off when I get there. How many people were in the red light? Okay, it's turned yellow. He's going through anyway. Turned red. He's going through anyway. Every single time I cross this road, at least one person runs the red light. Okay, we are here. 
Let's go hook up a telephone. That would be bad. Definitely don't want to hit my own truck. Let's take care of the trash. I love how these doors close. I got not sponsored, but I do really like brisk tea. So, uh, brisk Lipton is that who owns it? Give me a call, I'll make some deals. All right, I really didn't think this through. I'm recording on my phone, and there's only one line here. I've got to try and figure out how to make that ring so we can test it. I should have brought a GoPro. I didn't. All right, so the way I have this hooked up, that's for people are curious, I have the line from the phone coming out to the back of this wall plate. And then in here, I've got this little adapter, which I don't actually need. Thought I might, but I don't. Um, I've got this plugged in to this cord, and then this one will go into a conventional new modern RJ11 socket. So we're going to plug that in. How am I going to? How am I going to record and test this phone at the same time? All right, that's going to be interesting. We can at least, at minimum, we'll show you it's got dial tone. Here's our jack, and we've got one wire. No, I think I will put that adapter in just because she's got one wire up here. Coming down to here, we'll just take this one out. It's not plugged into anything, but I don't know what she's using it for. So we're going to leave it there, not disturb the, disturb the process. Like that in there. Really? Maybe? There we go. Good grief. Fancy 1960s telephone. Let's see if we got dial tone. We do not. I'm going to check my connection. I think we got a bad connection back here. Just want to double check, make sure that one, this yellow wire isn't shorting anything out. Let's get that guy out of the way. And we got green on green. We got good contact. We got red on red. We got good contact. I don't know where the microphone is on this camera. Maybe you can hear it. But we have dial tone now. Okay. Well, I think it was just that. I think it was just that uh, yellow wire shortened things out. I'll cut that off before I leave. Um, so let's do that now. I think it was this guy which is supposed to be ground will end that problem right there make sure it still works okay um, now let me see if I can keep recording I can't record video and make a phone call at the same time let's we'll see if uh, I just sent my wife a message See if she makes it ring. Would you look at that? Thank, thank you. <laughs> if the phone works, <laughs> I'm talking to you on it.
Yeah, I've got it. It's on your book right now. All right, bye. There you have it. We, uh, she wants it up here. She says, can you set, I might have to blur some of that out. Um, she says, can you set it up on the, the desk so that customers can see it, use it, <laughs> watch it ring. So we'll set that bad boy right there. Like I said before, I, I think the reason that she wanted this was just because it's cool. And the, the ringer, I mean. She wanted the ringer to work. Let's do this. There we go. She's right-handed. All right, there you have it. One working 19, what was, we say, 66, 67? Somewhere in there. Antique telephone. Um, good to go. Thanks for watching. And we are off for our next adventure. Follow along. Subscribe. All that stuff. See you in the next one.